Hey guys, so today's video is going to be my pink um, neutral eye look. And I did a video very similar to this on my old channel, VX3 Be Secret. And um, I might link it down in the bottom bar below. It is very similar. I used some of the same products, but I also added um, a few new ones. So I hope that you guys like this video. Um, it is just a very neutral look with some pink color in it. Um, pink cheeks and lips and yeah. So, and also just so that way you guys know, I'm filming in my old bathroom because um, it is really hot today. Like it's almost like 80 or like almost hitting 90 degrees today and it is late. So like it's not as hot, but my room is actually the hottest room in the house. And um, it gets very hot when I'm filming because I have to turn all of my lights on and have a light in front of me and things like that. So it gets very, very, very hot in there. And um, yeah, my bathroom happens to have one of the best um, AC vents because it's right like above my head right now. So it is keeping me a lot colder or cooler than my room would. So that is why I'm filming in here. So anyway, that is it. I hope that you guys subscribe, um, like, and comment down below. And let's get right into the video. Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to prime my eyelids with my Urban Decay um, eyeshadow primer potion. And I'm just going to put a little bit on my ring finger and then blend it in. Then I'm going to take my paint pot and painterly and again putting a little bit on my ring finger I'm just going to put this all over my eyelid and this is going to be a really good base and there's just a, the slightest hint of pink in this base and yeah it's just going to make sure that everything is a little bit Right. So next I'm going to take this really gorgeous pink color by Lancome and it's called View and it's a shimmery, just kind of a very basic pink color. And using a flat shader brush, I'm just going to put this all over my lid. Next, using my crease um, eye pencil brush, I'm just going to take this light brown color by Clinique called um, Teddy Bear and I'm just going to apply this and put it in, no, okay. Next using this really light brown from the Teddy Bear Quad, I'm just going to apply this into my crease with a pencil eyeshadow brush. And this is really great for getting a color into your crease. And I love this color because it's not such a dark brown that it's going to make this look um, like very nighttime-ish, but it's going to just define your crease. And I'm just going to put a little bit on the outer corner too. And just first apply it and then I'm just going to really blend it in. Okay, so as you guys can tell, I didn't blend that in too much, but that's because I'm going to take this really um, kind of hot pink color from the Call Me Bubbles palette by MAC and using a um, fluffy blending brush. I'm just going to take a little bit of the pink on my brush and I'm just going to apply it right on the outer corner where I put that brown. And this is just going to kind of make sure that you get a little more pink in this look and keep it from being a little bit too neutral because the, the light pink that I used before is very like light and kind of almost champagne-y at the same time. And I'm just going to grab a little more of that pink and just apply it until I think that the color is where I want it. So now for my highlight, I'm going to just use a light champagne color and you guys can really use anything that goes with your skin tone. And I'm just going to apply this right below the, the eyebrow or <laughs> into your brow bone, just to highlight a little bit. And then bring it down and just blend it into the other colors a little bit. And now the camera is washing me out so much. Okay, so now for eyeliner, I'm going to take my favorite black liquid eyeliner by Stila, and it's the Stila Stay All Day Liquid um, Waterproof Eyeliner in Carbon Black. And you guys can use a bronze if you want. I just tend to like black eyeliner because it makes your eyelashes look a lot fuller. And I'm just going to trace a very thin line on my upper lash line 
and then wing it out at the end. But not like a scary wing. And now using my Urban Decay Eyeliner in Carbon Black, I'm just going to line my lower lash line on the outer third. And then I'm just going to top, uh, tight line my upper lash line, being very careful to not smudge your um, eyeshadow. And again, just focusing this on the outer third. And that's really going to add a lot of volume or kind of drama to your eyelashes and make them look really full. So after curling your eyelashes, you are going to take your favorite mascara and this is uh, my Fairy Drops Mascara, and I'm just going to give my lashes a really good coat of mascara. And then the last thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to take my white high, um, like, white shimmery eyeshadow and just apply this to my inner corner and this is just going to really brighten your eyes and bring the whole look together so now for cheeks I'm going to use my favorite Hey Sailor um, blush or highlighter and I'm just going to swirl all the colors onto my brush smile find the apples of my cheeks and sweep this upwards And before filming this video, I applied my Sugar Lip Treatment SPF um, 15 Lip Balm so that way my lips would be ready when I went to go put on my lipstick, which I'm using my NYX Black Label Lipstick in the color um, BLL109 India, and it looks a little something like this. And I'm just going to apply this from the tube onto my lips like this and it applies a little bit weird and it's really really light it's a bright nude and it kind of matches my shirt a little bit you guys can see so I'm just going to rub it in with my fingers because I find that this lipstick kind of like really brings a lot of emphasis to like the cracks of your lips and then I'm just going to apply my NARS Turkish Delight Lip Gloss, which is the prettiest pink color right on top. And upper lip. And again, using my finger. So that is it for this look. I hope that you guys like it. And right now the camera is making me look just a little bit shiny, but that's okay. So I hope you guys like this look and I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye.